folks, welcome to my channel. My name is Erin McGough, and today we are talking about how to take your passion project or your new business idea and turn it into a reality. And I'm also gonna share with you one little secret that's going to 10X your likelihood of success. So let's get into it. So, you have an idea, a passion, a desire, you got something in your noggin. Maybe it's to find a job where you wanna work from home, flexible on your own schedule, so you're looking into becoming a freelancer like me. Or maybe it's bigger than that. Maybe you have a business idea that you think could actually be really, really successful, but you just need a little guidance and a little push into the unknown. <laughs> Whatever it is, you have the most incredible opportunity right now to pursue this. There has never been a better time to try and start a new business, seriously. The amount of tools out there on the internet that are helping you build, scale, monetize, sell, market, all these things, like it is, it's insane. You just need to know where to look and that's where I come in. And if you just know which tools to use and you take advantage of this opportunity that we have right now in this moment, you are going to be light years ahead of everyone else. Like if these tools were available when I was just starting out, it would have saved me so much time, money, and stress. <laughs> One of the best decisions I've ever made in my life was choosing to go out on my own and work for myself. When I graduated college, I started freelancing as a video editor because I was directing a documentary and I had to pay my bills. Two years in, I was making six figures as a freelance editor. I moved to New York City, loved my job, and was working with some of the biggest brands in the world. And now, a few years later, I pursued another passion turned business idea to give practical, candid career and life advice online, and therefore, Advice of Theron was born. Today, I have helped countless people design their dream careers, whether that's working from home as a freelancer, quitting their job to start their own business, or just taking their work from home side hustle full time. And today, I'm here to guide you through those first steps of making your vision a reality. It is possible, you can do it. All right, get out your pencils, and let's get into the three steps for launching your business idea this year. I don't know how I feel about these braids today giving Pippi, Pippi long stockings, Pippi. Step one, the idea. The first step is to come up with an idea. An idea is a solution to a problem. Never just start with a random business idea. You always wanna start with a problem and then find a solution to that problem. And the solution is your business. You have to be able to define your offering in one sentence. For example, Advice with Aaron democratizes access to quality soft career and life advice through social video. The problem, lack of access to quality career advice. My solution, free content available to all. By the way, if you're liking this free video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the community. We'd love to have you. So figure out what the market is craving, where there are gaps in services and products, and then design your product or service or business idea, whatever it is to fill in those gaps. Once you've done that, it's time to move on to step two. Step two, build your website. If I have someone pitch me a business and they don't have a website, for that reason, I'm out. I'm looking at you, especially freelancers. Sending me Dropbox and Google Drive, I don't, I don't want that. In this day and age, a website is a fundamental part of any business and they're easier to make than ever. Like right now, a website is so easy for you to make. Having a clear, concise, professional website is your virtual business card. People will meet you and interact with your business more online than they will in person. And if you're like, Aaron, I don't know how to code. I don't have thousands of dollars to spend on a designer and a website and all that fancy stuff. Well then my friend, I'm excited to introduce you to Durable, an AI website builder designed just for people like you. It's free to get started, perfect for individuals and aspiring entrepreneurs who are just starting out and need a beautiful website fast. This is how easy it is. Simply type in the kind of business you have, where it's located, and what its name is. Even if you can't think of a business name, it has an AI assistant to help you brainstorm business names. Then wait less than a minute for Durable to do all its AI magic and generate a website for you. Then you can go in and customize everything. You can add and delete website sections like testimonials, image carousel, Instagram feed, contact form. You can add sub pages, you know, like an about me page, services page, contact page. You can add widgets like chatbots, Calendly. Like the possibilities are endless. You can make this website as complicated or simple as you want. And the integrations, it's like, I can't stress how helpful this is. Like if the, if I had this when I was starting out, you used to need to like purchase and subscribe to 10 different softwares to do everything that Durable is doing for you. If you have a logo, brand colors, preferred fonts, like you can just pop them in there. And if you don't have that all figured out yet, you can use Durable's brand builder to help you design all that. They really thought of everything y'all. Building a website forces you to figure out what your business actually is. What is your core product and offering? What do you want potential customers to do when they come to your website, when they interact with your company? Spending time building your website forces you to answer all these questions. Step three is marketing. Our final step 
step is marketing your business, getting the word out there. I hate to break it to y'all, but when you launch your business, people aren't just gonna come running. I know, I know but don't, don't be intimidated. Marketing your business can be done in a variety of ways. And again, it's easier now than it ever has been. Like, yes, you could walk out into the street and start shouting, hey, I have a social media company. Does anybody need social media marketing? Like that's that's one approach that you, you could take. You, you could, but what I recommend is using this little thing called the internet. Apparently everybody's using it these days. You can use social media like TikTok, Instagram, Facebook to just Market your business for free and just get organic traffic. You can start a blog that improves your SEO. SEO just stands for search engine optimization. It's just a fancy term for saying getting on the first page of Google. And then you can also pay for ads. You can pay for Facebook ads, pay for Google ads. And then of course, do reach outs. Me being a freelancer working in the film industry, a lot of what I did was just cold reach outs. Marketing can honestly get really confusing, but another great thing about Durable is that they have built in marketing tools. So yes, you can make your website using Durable, but they also take that next step to help you out with all of that marketing. You can do invoicing, you can create a CRM, which is a customer relationship management software. They can help you with SEO, which is huge. I've never seen a website builder do it like that before. So if you are looking to start a new business, there has never been a better time. Thanks to AI, startup costs are so minimal now, and there's really no excuse to not try it out. If I hadn't chosen to be a freelancer and work for myself, I never would have had the freedom even to post that first TikTok in 2020. And now I'm living my best life because I chose to bet on myself. And I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm gonna leave you with this. I've helped countless people quit their jobs to try and do their own thing. And never once have I heard somebody regret trying. They've only regretted not trying. So that's it for today. Remember, you got this and I'll see you next time. Yeah.